A very good evening to everyone and all the poetry lovers out here. As part of the world poetry movement, we are paying a warm tribute to our comrade and friend, Jack Hirschman, who left us on 25th, 22nd August, 2021. Um, he was brought to fame actually by Hemingway, uh, who wrote to him uh, in a letter to a young writer. He was also the former poet laureate of San Francisco, and his style was compared to poets ranging from Walt Whitman to Hart Green to Dylan Thomas, and of course, to the beat poets such as Allen Ginsberg. He's, has, he's had this volume as amount of poetry. He's got 50 plus volumes of poetry, in fact. And uh, that's like uh, included in all that's left, which was published in 2008, uh, Frontlines, then a correspondence of Americans, and of course, his uh, magnum opus, his thousand page masterpiece, The Arcanes. Hirschman was hailed as one of the left's most prolific and consistent poetic verses, voices. Before his death in 2021, Hirschman continued to explore the political nature of poetry. In today's reading, we have uh, poets writing both in English and Malayalam from Kerala. Uh, the first poet we have is Soni Somradhan. A warm welcome to you, Sony. Thank you. Thank you, the next, Thank you for the time. The next poet we have is Nitya Mariam John. Hi. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Nitya. We have Jerin and Jacob. Hi, all. Welcome, Jerin. We have Shambhu Ramachandran. And Asim Tanimod will be reading out from his uh, video he has actually sent us. With these poets, I would like to begin this program. And the entire series, you know, we are indebted to the entire reading series uh, to Dr. Rati Saxena, who had envisioned the entire poetry reading. And we have Sri Brajesh Singh and Smita Segal behind the screen. We'll begin with Soni Somarajan. Soni Somarajan's poetry and writing have featured in anthologies, magazines, and newspapers, including the Bombay Literary Magazine, Northeast Review, the Four Quarters Magazine, News India, Uttar, etc. He is also one of the featured poets in Witness Indian Poets Define uh, Descent Anthology, the Yearbook of Indian Poetry in English. And he was the alumnus of the University of Iowa's IWP Advanced Poetry Seminar in 2013. Sony is a creative head of the Quarantine Train, a poetry collective. His first contact, the debut book of poetry, was published by Red River in 2020. Welcome, Sony. Thank you, Babita, and thank you, Kritya, for having us here today. Um, can I go on to read the poems? Yes, please Babita? go ahead. Yes, please go ahead. So I'm reading uh, two poems by Jack Hirschman today, and uh, the first one is Fried Shoes. Fried Shoes. Down the hall with a flower of bok choy, ramen noodles, a pot, a knife, and tablespoon. I filled the pot halfway, cut the bok choy into tiny pieces, put them in water on the stove. In seven minutes, I will break a stiff little noodle pie of the water and after three minutes more, will empty spicy powder and bits of herbs from two tiny packets into the mix. Stir and have me a delicious afternoon soup. Jasmine from Burma is spooning in a frying pan on another burner. 
Peruvian genies at the sink where there's a strip, I think, fish in the basin she's standing over. When Jasmine tells me it's ground beef, she's stirring. I ask Jenny what kind of fish she's washing. She looks perplexed, then lifts a dish towel out of the basin and chuckles. We all chuckle. Know what my favorite is, I say. They look quizzically. Fried shoes. More quizzically, they don't understand. You know, I say, like in the movie of Charlie Chaplin, at the mention of his name, a sunburst of happiness fills the women's faces. A total rapture appears as a fully human presence of them. And instantly, we are all at home with even in one another shining with irresistible recognition. Not just of the fried shoes seen in the gold rush, but the mention of his name turns this sluggishly moving women into illuminant beings, sunflower bodies of one utterly human face. It's Charlie Chaplin who still touches awake the buried samples of the childhood I have thought dead, which is where first and last star are the same star, and the memories sounded sea becomes a teardrop that becomes the sun of a laughter from birth to death on faces that can't be ripped off or buried under the rubble and trash of time but glow as total radiant destiny. The second poem I'm reading today is The Old Woman. The, the Old Woman. Bus driver and I understand that little old woman can hardly stand. So next time you are at the mouth of a bus, lend a hand. Even your mama's a child near the end. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sony. Uh, you have brought in Jack Hirschman's sensitivity, where he illumines sluggish women, and uh, you know they become sunflower bodies. Such beautiful imagery. Nitya, Nitya Mariam John, our next poet, is a translator and teacher and ed editor from Kerala. Apart from her three short collections of poems uh, titled Ruminations and Reflections, A Pinch of Poetry and Perspectives, Bleats and Rose, and Poetry Soup, her scribblings are housed in Indian literature, the Alipur Post, Borderless, Gulmoha Quarterly, the Raven Court Press, etc., Samyukta Poetry, and her stories are on Muse India and Twist and Twain. And she has an unfinished uh, masterpiece, Companionship, what will you do then? And these are the translations of contemporary Malayalam readers. I request Nitya to read Hirschman next. Thank you. Thank you, Babita. Thank you, Kritya. I would like to read uh, The Neruda Earth by Hirschman first. The Neruda Earth. Sitting against a tree trunk in Dolores Park, amid the Chilean solidarity gathering, my eyes beheld three tiny daisies in the grass, their little pollen hearts attacked by flies. Nearby, yellow jackets were flying over a jungle of blades of grass and brilliantly green-backed horse flies were making merry on a flute of dog shit. I had lowered my eyes from the speeches and even the People's Tribune was stacked at my side. So much movement in nature. A butterfly alighted on the front page and walked along the headline as if reading it. The flies went on eating their hearts out. The horse flies were absolutely drunken on the excrement. 
the yellow jackets were strafing and landing and taking off again. It was the guerrilla war. It was mir, it was ease. So much movement, so much space in an inch, this Naroda earth. Over to the love poem for Ajmu. Bliss of all blisses, lightly you do declare intimacy by putting your lips right here. So this is thoughts without itself. Spoken though nothing said. <clears throat> nothing when it's everything. Make it that's shed the crumbs of time and the orgy of things thrown and stuck to the mind. And now, alone with one of a kind pair of lips, the origin of itself opens in order to reveal there is a language called soul, a tongue that is the kiss, that is the bliss of all blisses, untranslatable. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much, Mithya. Uh, you know, so much of guerrilla movement, you know, in something as bad or as horrible as excrement, and so much of soul around the nature, and that's exactly what Jack Hirschman tried to uh, tried to capture. The next poets we have is Jerin Ann Jacob. She's a poet, educator, and researcher who firmly believes in the power of words. And she thinks that you know, change can be created by poetry along with storytelling in classroom. And of course, this is also going to bring a lot of social change. And uh, as a doctoral researcher, she'd been exploring feminist retellings of biblical narratives in the Indian context. I request Jerin to read poems. Jack's poems. Thank you so much, Babita, and thank you so much, Kritya, for having me here today. The first poem I'll be reading by Jack Hirschman is On a Line by Whitman. Suddenly there are no dead I want to remember, and my good love isn't desperate for a poem. I am beside myself with calm stretched out in my hotel room in San Francisco. What must be done? The revolt in my pen has surrendered to this quiet musing on nothing in particular. The world's whizzing and whirling outside, but I am more inclined to the hairs of my chest. They have been there 40 years or more, hardly noticed with so much to do. And now they are turning gray. Suddenly, I feel I have missed them. Their red youth, the darkening way they attracted many kisses to the flesh that lay beneath them. I have really paid them little mind, let alone senses. And now they'll soon be white. What can I say? That they do not belong to me? That they do not mean very much? When it comes to the body's poor old road, everyone must be a touch. Uh, the next poem I'm reading is my personal favorite by Jack Hirschman. It's titled Path. Go to your broken heart. If you think you do not have one, get one. To get one, be sincere. Learn sincerity of intent by letting life enter because you are helpless really to do otherwise. Even as you try escaping, let it take you and tear you open like a letter sent, like a sentence inside you've waited for all your life, though you have committed nothing. Let it send you up. Let it break you, heart. Broken heartedness is the beginning of all real reception. The year of humility, years beyond the gates. See 
the gates opening. Feel your hands going up kimbo on your hips, your mouth opening like a womb, giving birth to your voice for the first time. Go singing, whirling into the glory of being ecstatically simple. Write the poem. Thank you. Thank you, Jerin. Uh, personally, that's one of my favorites too, and especially about brokenheartedness, how it becomes the center of all reception. Thank you, Jerin. Now we have Shambhu. Shambhu Ramachandran is a bilingual poet from Kayankulam, Kerala. He's assistant professor in English at NSS College, Pandala, and he's also a doctoral candidate at the University of Kerala. His poems have appeared in the Bombay Literary Review, Madras Courier, Borderless Journal, Short Glass Journal, The Alipur Post, Burst of Silence, and others. His poem, Umbrella and Suicide, was featured in the Yearbook of Indian Poetry in English. And his first book of poems, titled Vavval Manishinim Komali, was released by Papati Pustangal in 2019. Welcome, Shambhu. Thank you for the introduction. First of all, uh, thank you, Kritya, for having me over. Special thanks to Babida and Smitha. I'll be reading two poems today, Winter Solstice and Gardenia. If time permits, I'll be reading the Malayalam translation of Gardenia too. The first poem I'm going to read is Winter Solstice. I walked into the bank of the winter solstice and shouted, Happy birthday, Joseph Stalin. This is a stick up. Everyone on the floor. Today I'm interested in the prophets, not people. About time we hit the banks. They have us by the short hairs. Hope you're listening down there. This is a revolution. The next poem is Gardenia. I'll read the original in English first. That woman walking, talking to herself in first. That woman walking, talking to herself in first. And that one in the doorway, smelling of cardboard and racks, mumbling. And that one in the doorway, smelling of cardboard and racks, mumbling. And that man, drunk, babbling on the sidewalk, Chinese, holding a pink plastic bag. And that man, drunk, babbling on the sidewalk, Chinese, holding a pink plastic bag. And that man, sober, talking to a lamppost and that ang hooker in front of the hotel, smelling of dead orgasms, venereal acne broken out on her face, whispering to herself with a sullen draft of lip. And that man, sober, talking to a lamppost and that ang hooker in front of the hotel, smelling of dread, smelling of dead orgasms, venereal acne broken out on her face, whispering to herself with a sullen draft of lip, dislocated, deranged, dissident, atonal, joyless, loveless, time warped, space killed, eaten by the worms of money, bitten away faces, loneliness handouts, pitiful claptrap dimes, eaten by the worms of money, bitten away faces, loneliness handouts, pitiful claptrap dimes. Over the year of socialism, they are petals of the most fragrant gardenia, and every single one of their syllables is heard. Over the year of socialism, they are petals of the most fragrant gardenia, and every single one of their syllables is heard. Now, if we have time, I'll read the Malayalam translation. Babida, uh, do we have time? Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay, one moment, please, with me.
ഗാജീവിയാണ് കമ്പിളി പുതച്ച് ആത്മഗതം ചെയ്യുന്ന ആ സ്ത്രീ കമ്പിളി പുതച്ച് ആത്മഗതം ചെയ്യുന്ന ആ സ്ത്രീ മറ്റൊരുവൾ കാർഡ് ബോർഡിൻ്റെയും കിഹിറത്തുണിയുടെയും നാറ്റം പേര് വാതിൽ പിടിച്ചാരി നിൽക്കുന്നു മറ്റൊരുവൾ കാർഡ് ബോർഡിൻ്റെയും കിഹിറത്തുണിയുടെയും നാറ്റം പേര് വാതിൽ പിടിച്ചാരി നിൽക്കുന്നു നടപ്പാതയിൽ ലഹരിയിൽ ജൽപ്പിക്കുന്ന ആ മനുഷ്യൻ ഒരു പിങ്ക് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ബാഗ് പിടിച്ച ചൈനീസ് വ്യക്തി നടപ്പാതയിൽ ലഹരിയിൽ ജൽപ്പിക്കുന്ന ആ മനുഷ്യൻ ഒരു പിങ്ക് പ്ലാസ്റ്റിക് ബാഗ് പിടിച്ച ചൈനീസ് വ്യക്തി സമചിത്തനായി വഴിയോര വിളക്കുകളോട് സംസാരിക്കുന്ന ആ മനുഷ്യൻ ഹോട്ടലിന് മുന്നിൽ നിർവികാരമായ രതിമൂർച്ചയുടെ ഗന്ധം പൊഴിക്കുന്ന ആ യുവ വേശ്യ ഹോട്ടലിന് മുന്നിൽ നിർവികാരമായ രതിമൂർച്ചയുടെ ഗന്ധം പൊഴിക്കുന്ന ആ യുവ വേശ്യ അവളുടെ മുഖക്കുരുക്കൾ പൊട്ടി വിരിയുന്നു അവളുടെ മുഖക്കുരുക്കൾ പൊട്ടി വിരിയുന്നു കൂർത്തു മങ്ങിയ ചുണ്ടുകളാൽ അവൾ മന്ത്രിക്കുന്നു കൂർത്തു മങ്ങിയ ചുണ്ടുകളാൽ അവൾ മന്ത്രിക്കുന്നു സ്ഥാനഭ്രംശരായ വിഭ്രാന്തിതരായ വിമതരായ സന്തോഷമില്ലാത്ത സ്നേഹം ലഭിച്ചിട്ടില്ലാത്ത സമയച്ചങ്ങലയിൽ കുടുങ്ങിയ കുറെ ആളുകൾ സ്ഥാനഭ്രംശരായ വിഭ്രാന്തിതരായ വിമതരായ സന്തോഷമില്ലാത്ത സ്നേഹം ലഭിച്ചിട്ടില്ലാത്ത സമയച്ചങ്ങലയിൽ കുടുങ്ങിയ കുറെ ആളുകൾ പണത്തിൻ്റെ കിലുക്കം പുഴു പണത്തിൻ്റെ പുഴുക്കുത്ത് കലർന്ന പണത്തിൻ്റെ പുഴുക്കുത്ത് കാറുന്ന അവരുടെ മുഖങ്ങൾ ഏകാന്തതയുടെ ലഘുലേഖകൾ നാണയങ്ങളുടെ പരിതാപകരമായ കിലുക്കം നാണയങ്ങളുടെ പരിതാപകരമായ കിലുക്കം സോഷ്യലിസത്തിൻ്റെ ചെവിക്ക് മീത് ഏറ്റവും പരിമളം കൊഴിക്കുന്ന ഗാർബീനിയുടെ ഇതളുകൾ അവയുടെ ഓരോ ശബ്ദവും കേൾക്കാൻ പാകം സോഷ്യലിസത്തിൻ്റെ ചെവിക്ക് മീത് ഏറ്റവും പരിമളം കൊഴിക്കുന്ന ഗാർബീനിയുടെ ഇതളുകൾ അവയുടെ ഓരോ ശബ്ദവും കേൾക്കാൻ പാകത്തുന്നു താങ്ക് യു Thank you so much, Shambhu, for bringing so much of emotions into your poetry. We could actually feel Jack Hirschman's uh, words in, in, in the way you recite it. Thank you so much. Next, uh, me, Babita Marina Justin, I'm going to recite his poems. Um, I'm a poet. Right now, I'm a poet who wants to, be, wants to write as prolifically as Jack Hirschman. I have nothing else to say. Uh, that's very ambitious and that's why i want to read out uh, one of my favorites uh, favorite poems of his much recited very well known and all that's left all that's left in the world whether in cuba venezuela bolivia as well as in china japan the united states europe the middle east africa all of them cannot despite their resistance despite their refusal stop this march of death because they as well as all that's right in the world despite their refusal despite their resistance already are counted among those in the last parade communists are progressives nazis fascists reactionaries zionists and anarchists of every stripe none are excluded none can evade the march this one's not coming with hammer and sickles or swastikas or flags of any land this one's the march all was surrendered to but when comes the united unanimous cry when will it really happen if death is peace when can i truly die i will never know and yet you do because you may already have and this life is your way of paying homage to the power that loves you enough to have taken your life away and left you with a taste of immortality on your lips nothing mystical no christ allah yahweh or buddha in the wings even lying on your back you are marching this is not a this is not cynical or pessimist or nihilist poem join death to your life and you will live as a there were no drum to march to there's no march at all you're done all will be for all all will be well for all the next poem um by J uh, hershman uh, the happiness the happiness there's a happiness 
a joy in the one soul that has been buried alive in everyone and forgotten. It isn't your barroom joke or tender, intimate humor or afflictions of friendliness or big, bright pun. They're all surviving survivors of what happened when happiness was buried alive, when it is no longer looked out of today's eyes and doesn't even manifest when one of us dies. We just walk away from everything alone with what is left of us going on being human beings without being human without that happiness. Next poet uh, we have is Asim Tanimur. In fact, his video will be played here. Asim Tanimur is a journalist by profession. He writes poems and reviews and experiences for the mainstream online magazines. Um, he has published many collections, Missing Words by DC Books and books that recall the tree and uh, he has also won many awards, including including the prestigious Vailopoli Award, Kumaran Master Award, Baikya Muhammad Bashir Award, etc. And uh, he was in his poems have been included in the anthology of poems in Malayalam by Kendra Sahitya Academy, and uh, it's also included in many school and, and college and university syllabus. Now let's listen to him. American poet, communist ബാങ്ക് of the winter solstice and shouted happy birthday joseph stalin this is a stick up everyone on the floor today i am interested in the profits not people today i am interested in the profits not people about time we hit we hits the bank about time we hit the banks they have us by the short hairs Hope you are listening down there. This is a revolution. Hope you are listening down there. This is a revolution. And in Malayalam, Dekshinaya Nandam. Dekshinaya Nandam is the name of 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 the name. മനുഷ്യരിലല്ല നിക്ഷേപങ്ങൾക്കടുത്ത് നാം എത്തവേ അവർ നമ്മെ രോമകൂപങ്ങളോടെ പിടികൂടിയിരിക്കുന്നു നിങ്ങളത് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു കേൾക്കുമെന്ന് പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നു ഇതൊരു വിപ്ലവമാണ് ദക്ഷിണായനാന്തത്തിന്റെ നിക്ഷേപത്തിലേക്ക് നടന്നെടുത്ത് ഞാൻ ഉച്ചത്തിൽ വിളിച്ചു പറഞ്ഞു ജന്മദിനാശംസകൾ ജോസഫ് സ്റ്റാലിൻ ഇതൊരു പിന്തിരിപ്പൻ ചിന്താഗതിയാണ് എല്ലാവരും തറയിൽ ഇന്ന് എനിക്ക് താല്പര്യം ലാഭത്തിലാണ് മനുഷ്യരിലല്ല നിക്ഷേപങ്ങൾക്കടുത്ത് നാം എത്തവേ അവർ നമ്മെ രോമകൂപ രോമകൂപങ്ങളോടെ പിടികൂടിയിരിക്കുന്നു നിങ്ങളത് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചു കേൾക്കുമെന്ന് പ്രതീക്ഷിക്കുന്നു ഇതൊരു വിപ്ലവമാണ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ ഹിം ഐ ആം അറ്റ് ഫാം യു ആർ അറ്റ് ഫാം ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആർ അസ്ലീപ് ഇൻ ദയർ റൂം ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആർ അസ്ലീപ് ഇൻ ദയർ റൂം ഐ ആം വർക്കിംഗ് അണ്ടർ ദ ലാമ്പ് ഓഫ് ദ പോയം I am working under the lamp of the poem. I am at home. I am at home. You are at home. Inside the children are asleep in their room. I am working under the lamp of the poem. The Malayalam. Slogan. I am at home. You are at home. I am 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 at home. നീയും വീട്ടിലാണ് കുട്ടികൾ അകത്ത് അവരുടെ മുറിയിൽ ഉറങ്ങുന്നു കവിതയുടെ വിളക്കിന് കീഴിൽ ഞാൻ എഴുതുന്നു 
ചക്ഷുഷ്മാന് എല്ലാവിധ പ്രണാമവും ആദരവും അർപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിർത്തുന്നു നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം Thank you so much, Asim. Uh, this has been quite a wonderful evening. Uh, we have recollected all kinds of uh, emotions in this particular uh, particular streaming. And we have heard all kinds of stuff that Jack Hirschman had to say. He spoke about revolutions. He talk, talked about guerrilla wars and nations. He talked about excrements, about ordinary human people. And that's why we call him revolutionary. That's why we call him um, a, a poet of the people. a socialist poet uh, so we will uh, thank you all of you for joining us uh, at kritya be part of kritya and thank you for the organizers of kritya uh, for putting up such a lovely show and remembering jack hirschman all together thank you so much mm-hmm.